My name is Keenan Steiner, and I'm here to walk you through the quarterly lobbying report forms. Lobbying firms and any companies or nonprofits hiring lobbyists in Washington have to fill out these forms to report all of their lobbying activity. Viewed over time, the forms are a useful way to see how much money companies are spending on lobbying, uh, which issues they're lobbying on, and which agencies they're talking to. So to show you how these reports can be useful, let's take a look at how we use them for a series of articles here at Sunlight. The Peruvian subsidiary of the Renko Group, a U.S. conglomerate owned by billionaire Ira Rennert, is in the middle of a dispute with Peru. In 2010, the country revoked the license of the subsidiary to operate a metal smelter in a Peruvian mountain town. We found that uh, the Renko Group had hired a slew of Washington lobbyists in late 2010 to convince officials to intervene on behalf of Doe Run Peru. So let's take a look at those lobbying forms. The forms are accessible through the websites of the Senate Secretary and the House Clerk. And it's good to note that the filing deadline is 20 days after the quarter ends. So the complete set of reports won't be available until then. Let's do a search on the Senate site, which is the Senate Office for Public Records. Click on Search the Lobbying Database you get a whole bunch of search criteria. In this case, we only need to pick client name and filing period. The client name is uh, Renko, and filing period, let's choose fourth quarter and click Submit. We will see all of the firms that were hired by Renko Group in that period. Let's click on one of the firms, which is a law firm called Jones Walker, and let's see what kind of information you can find in this form. The first thing you'll notice on the first page is the name of the lobbyist employed by Jones Walker, Palmer Hamilton. You'll see how much money the firm was paid, $110,000. You can also see which agencies are being lobbied. You can see that he's lobbying the House of Representatives and the Senate. You'll also see what's called the General Issue Area Code. Two are listed here, Banking and Foreign Relations. That'll provide a clue for which committees in the House and Senate are being lobbied. Probably the, the finance committees in each house, and it could be the House or Senate Foreign Relations committees. Then there's a little bit more detail given under the specific lobbying issues category, and he writes the protection of private U.S. investments in Peru from expropriation. So not too much detail here, but you're able to see at least what he's aiming to do. Some of the other lobbyists hired by Renko wrote a similar description. In all, the work of the nine lobbyists hired may have had an impact, as nine members of Congress ended up urging the Obama administration to intervene on behalf of the Renko Group. As you can see, these reports help us understand what is happening behind the scenes in Washington and how the influence of a few powerful lobbyists can have far-reaching implications. This was a short introduction on what you can do with the lobbying report forms or the LD2 forms. And if you want to find out more information, you can go to reporting.sunlightfoundation.com.